All right, y'all. So here's the deal. It looks like the pretty girls are going in on each other recently, my Jesus. You know, it's really shameful, man. I told y'all there is a war on pretty out here. I was not kidding when I said that. Shout out to the Shade Room for reposting this. This happened like a couple weeks ago. I posted on my blog. Just got time to make a video about it. I've been really busy with my haters' mothers. Some of y'all haters in the comment section. Some of y'all mamas like it from the back. So I have to deliver this big package. So here's what your girl Masika Kalisha said. Dave East blocked me. Can't name one song. Monique Slaughter said, bro, Cardi's sister blocked me on Instagram. Don't even know her. The Shade Room said, what's the first thought that goes through your head when someone you don't know blocks you on social media? Hashtag is a block party. Hashtag Masika. Hashtag Monique. Hashtag Hennessy. Hashtag Dave East. Hashtag it be like that sometimes. Shrugging emoji. Masika Kalisha said, he said, ain't you Fetty Wap, baby mama? Shaking my head. I said, ain't you little Kim, baby daddy, other baby mama, other baby daddy? Shrugging emoji. Guess he can dish it, but he can't take it. But hey, God bless. He looks like a great dad. Moniz went on to say, you guys get on my nerves. First of all, I didn't even know when he blocked me till someone pointed it out secondly i'm a huge cardi b fan i'm very happy for her personal and professional success she's a huge inspiration she deserves all of her blessings third i do nothing but retweet and like positive shit about both cardi and her sister fourth my girl and i were watching her live and she saw me comment something small like laughing out loud and she and her girl spoke she said she was coming to L.A. She said she'd hit me, so I DM'd her my number. It was after that live that me and A.D. started getting tons of tweets from a Twitter page using her name, and we weren't sure if it was her, so I DM'd her to ask so that we weren't talking to some random weirdo like Meat Magazine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I added that part. <laughs> that was it. If I, quote, liked something negative about her sister, I was probably scrolling too fast. How crazy do I look cheering Cardi on and then hating on her? I don't know her or Hennessy. I never encountered them, so how could I possibly have a negative opinion? Hashtag receipts, please. Mo is so polite. Anyways, y'all want me to need unnecessarily. Y'all want me to need unnecessarily. Uh, I don't understand. Anyways, I don't care that she blocked me. I just found it interesting. I wasn't on her page. I was on my page and someone else pointed it out. I was just confused as to how someone I never met, never spoke ill of, would block me. It was weird. Time for shower and bed shrugging emoji. Here's what Hennessy Carolina had to say. Hennessy said, you don't know me, but you stay in my DMs. You wouldn't have known I blocked you if you wasn't on my page. I blocked you. Because I peeped you liking fucked up shit about my sister. And I don't fucking play that shit. Block. Hennessy also went on to say. At Monice underscore Slaughter. Since you want to know so bad. Thirsty. Cardi had a bunch of. Uh, what is it, six laughing crying emojis. And four arm flexing emojis. That's what she had to say about it. Yeah. So now do you guys believe. When I say that there's a hashtag war on pretty. You got these three. Dime piece. Goddess Supremes, you got the sexy MILF Mafia, Moni Slaughter, God's Daughter, and Masika Kalisha smoking like Wiz Khalifa. Now, here's the deal, man. You got them on one side, and you got <sighs> Hennessy Carolina, Miss Little Booties Matter herself. And that booty's not little. I don't know what she be talking about. That thing is fat. But, anyways, so you got my sexy love and hip hop Hollywood ladies on one side and my sexy love and hip hop New York chick on the other. And I'm all extra salty about it. They don't need to be blocking anybody. They're all fine. They need to stop blocking and start the leg locking. See, this is why I be saying that these lovely ladies, you know, need to do a 69 or something. It's like you got three dime piece goddess supremes and none of this makes any sense. Like, nobody should be blocked. They're, they're, they're all too fine. All way too fine for this. You know what I'm saying? Ugly bitches be sitting back laughing at stuff like this. When the pretty girls can't get along. Because pretty girls are already in a limited supply. 
there's an abundance of ugly ugly heifers running around I almost said the B word let me be nice but fine women like a Hennessy Carolina like a Cardi B Cardi Bay Cardi beautiful like a Monice I mean that name just sounds sexy or like a Masika Kalisha the supermodel you know fine women like this are rarity ugly heifers be sitting back cracking up laughing when they see stuff like this they love seeing pretty girls destroy each other it's funny to them anyways man you know Hennessy works for revolt last I checked so she interviews people Monice is a singer Masika is a singer and a model so you have these lovely ladies whose careers I mean think about it if anything Hennessy should be Hennessy should be interviewing them I mean I would invite all of them onto my show but ain't none of them gonna call into meet magazine interviews on blog talk radio that's not gonna happen but I will say that plus uh, you know well, you know I, I was trying to segue into this but I'm just gonna say it like this is this karma for fine ass Masika Kalisha blocking me on the Twitters now I haven't pissed off Mo yet because <laughs> I don't know how I could I love me some Moniece but I don't know what the hell I said or did that pissed off Masika and she blocked me I don't know if it was the pictures of my butt that I sent I'm just kidding I'm totally kidding it's just a joke guys never sent Masika any pictures at all but basically for some weird reason some sort of glitch happened in the matrix Masika accidentally clicked the block button on my profile okay no seriously at Meet Magazine on Twitter did get blocked by Masika Kalisha in early 2016 normally when celebrities block me I just look at it like eh you know, I don't care. I always keep bringing it up because I actually really, really like Masika. I think she's freaking lit. She's so beautiful. And I, I don't know. I, I'm just hoping that someday Masika and Erica Mena will unblock me on Twitter. <laughs> I guess they block, but the rest of you have. <laughs> but these two women are too damn fine for this. I still I still haven't figured it out. But whatever I did, sorry, Masika. I know she's never going to hear this video. She doesn't know I exist. But at the end of the day, I just want to say this, man. Beautiful women like this should never ever ever have any any sort of animosity towards each other because we love them and we love them because they're fine as hell and because they're talented too but let's just be real here they're fine as hell man that's why how we originally became fans fans of them there's can't even talk man beautiful women on my screen let, let I, I gotta go y'all these ladies are looking too good right now and i can't even think straight y'all uh let me know what you think about it all below be sure to subscribe to the meat magazine youtube channels visit meat magazine dot for more follow me on twitter at Meet Magazine, Meet Magazine 7 on Google+, Plus, Meet Magazine blog and Instagram, hit the notification button. It's right next to the subscribe button. Looks like a bell. Once you click that button, you'll be sent alerts to be notified when the videos get posted. Whose side are you on? I'm on the side of pretty, which means I'm on everybody's side. I'm going to be understanding and say, hey, it's better to block someone than to argue with them, right? Right? So I'm just going to take it as that. Okay? But ladies, please don't block. Well, Masika already blocked me, but ladies, please don't block me. Your favorite thirsty blogger loves the lovely ladies. Uh, listen, I I, I, I love y'all, so don't block me. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I gotta go, Jesus. Me magazine.